So in this video we will save the in user information to the database and also we will save the user information locally using the shared preferences. So for this purpose first of all save info to database and save locally using the shared preferences. So let's call here a method which we will implement now and let's give it name as save info to Firestore and locally. And we will pass one thing here as a parameter which is the current user. So let's implement this above here the widget build we can say save info to Firestore and save locally as we are passing the current user to it so we will receive it here and by the same name we can receive it current user so first of all to Firestore we will save then we will save locally Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection inside the Firestore database we are going to create a collection by the name users in the users collection we will save all the user information so we can simply say dot collection users dot document and each user has their own uh, unique ID with the help of which we can recognize each and every user and basically that UID comes from the authentication okay when we uh, save when we register our first user then I will show you the unique ID the email and every information okay so we can say that current user dot UID okay so using that specific unique ID we can recognize each and every user in this app who are using this dot set and we can set our data first of all we will save the UID which we can get using the current user dot UID and then the email of that user who is going to register we can also get that using the current user dot email and then the name which you can get from the name text running controller dot text dot trim and then the URL which is photo URL please use the same names same spellings for the key names okay these are the key names for example UID is the key name and the value of it is this for, let's say for the email and then for the name this is the key name and the value of it is this one okay so photo URL is the key name and the value of it is inside our variable which is by the name download URL image okay so this is the key name and this is the value of it so please for the key names use the same spellings later on you will get confused if you use different name so that's why just use the same names just like I'm using in front of you so that we will have same key names and you will not get confused later on and the status for every new account by default it will be approved as you know we will have an admin panel and we will allow the admin to approved or disapproved or you can say blocked unblocked any user or any seller okay so for now the initial status is approved and then of course the user cart and we will give it the initial value which will be as at the start the cart will be empty so we will give it a garbage value you can say initial value use the same spellings okay initial value so in this way basically we save the data to Firestore inside the users collection you for that specific user who is trying to register 
and that user has their own unique ID so under that ID the user information we save so just like we save to Firestore now we'll, we will save it locally so for saving it locally go to the pop.dev site and we will use our dependency which is called shared preferences okay just search for it with null safety okay and then click on installing and we will copy this dependency and go to the app project go to the popspec.yml and simply paste that here shared for friends I mean if your app is already running okay then stop the debugging okay by clicking on this red button and then click on pop get in order to install this dependency completely in our app okay exit code zero which simply means it has been added successfully in our project and now we can use it so now we can simply say we can create a new file a new dot file and we will give it name as global so right click on lib then click new let's first create a folder directory or package and we will give it name as global okay so new folder by the name global has been created then right click on global new and then dot file and let's create global okay global so global dot dot file has been created now here basically we will uh, define or initialize all our global variables that we will use in our this project for example for now we will create define an instance of the shared preferences here and we can give it name as shared preferences just like this okay and we will initialize that on our man dot dot here we can say shared preferences equals to wet shared preferences dot get instance so yeah that's it and now we can simply use it so we can say shared preferences equals to let's make this method asynchronous because we have to wait that shared preferences get initialized so shared preferences dot get instance and then we can simply start saving data locally so we can say wait shared preferences dot set string and the key name for example for saying the UID we have the key name UID and the value of which is basically inside the we can get using current user dot UID okay so we save the UID locally using the shared preferences that's how we save the data locally using the shared preferences same goes for the other information let's just do that quickly the next thing we have is basically the email and we can say current user dot email then we have name which we will share view of name is we can get using name edit name text editing controller dot text dot trim and then of course the photo URL we will also share that the value of which is inside the variable download URL and then last thing is the user card and the value of which is basically initial value just like this and as this is a list okay as you can see and the initial value is also by the same name initial value so we can say here that is set string list okay since you know that user card is a list to which the user will add items to it okay as you know the cart list is basically a list to which the user will add items later on of course in the course we will implement the cart system so anyways make sure to change this to set string list as this is a list also make sure to add an I'll check here so in this way basically we save the data locally using the shared preferences and we can access this data 
easily using the key names okay with the help of shared references instance later on in the course anywhere we want in the app and let me tell you guys we have already saved to the firestore database okay the reason why we are saving the data locally is that is we will no longer need to write query to the database again and again okay and retrieve the data again and again from the database we just save it one time okay at the start locally whenever the user logged in successfully or you can say sign up successfully then the user can use the app okay so after the successful login or you can say after the successful sign up we alongside with that we save the data locally so we can just retrieve locally okay from the local storage we can retrieve the data using the shared references and then we can use it in our app without writing queries to the firestore database and retrieve it with the help of internet maybe sometime your internet connection may be slow okay so without that without instead of that we just save it locally okay and then later on in the course whenever we need any of this data we will just retrieve it with the help of shared references that's why we are saving this uh, important data locally so now also make sure to add here and I'll check so now let's just test the app to see if it is working or not now let's go to the registration let's choose any image from the gallery and I can simply say Peter Parker who is the user gmail.com then password and then confirm password now as you know that when the user click on the sign up button then we call the form validation and as you know that if the form is validated successfully then the first step is basically we upload the image to storage okay that is this code is executed and as a result we get the download URL image for accessing the profile image which we later save to the Firestore database alongside with the user information so first of all let's just see okay let's click on sign up button so the uploading start and it is uploading successfully and the app send us to the home screen okay so first of all as you know this step is executed which is the image uploaded successfully to the storage so let's just check the storage okay so click on storage you see that user images folder has been created okay and inside the user images folder we have an image by this unique file name okay which is basically the time and then I, I already explained this code that is the image is uploaded successfully inside the user images folder in the firebase storage and this is the image which is just uploaded and now after that what we did is the second step was save the user info to firestore database which is basically this method so first of all we authenticate the user that is create user with email and password using the firebase authentication so if you go to the authentication then our first user whose name is peter at the gmail.com basically this is the email and this is the user uid so it has been created successfully and then after it which simply means that this dot then executed okay which is in case of successful this one executed while it skip any error right? because there are no error record so that's why this one get skipped while this one executed so we get the user information okay using the current user which simply means the email and the UID of this user because with the help of that letter here we check if it is not null then we save the info to the firestore and we save the user info locally also okay using the current user so first of all we save it to the firestore if you go to the firestore then you will see that using that unique okay user collection has been created user collection has been created and inside that that specific user uid okay with the help of this uid we can recognize this user because this is the uid of the user whose name is peter parker which we get from the authentication using the current user okay current user uid you can see here 
So each user has their unique UID with the help of which we are saving the information in the Firestore database and also we can recognize each and every user in our this project or you can say in the database with their unique UID. Every user has their own different unique ID remember that okay so yeah this code has been executed successfully and also we save it locally after which the app navigate us to the home screen and you know that now we are on the home screen now in the next video we will also display some progress when the when any user want to register for the first time then after clicking on the sign up button we must display some pop up and some progress bar that is please wait we are registering your account okay and also then we will uh, display the user information here which we can do in this video okay because this is a simple step just we have to go to our home screen then we have our my drawer which is basically the my drawer dot dot and here we have this network image so instead of this we can remove this and we can simply say that as you know we have shared the information using the we shared the information locally using the shared references so let's just get the photo URL from it so we can say this is how we can retrieve the data locally using the shared preferences so we can say shared preferences dot get string and all we need is to provide the same key name by which we have save it so it is by the name photo URL so we can say photo URL make sure we add a null check here and also add a null check here okay just like this in the same way we can display the username so just remove this and paste that here and the key name we have saved the username by the key name name so we will also get the string by the same key name which is name and make sure to add here const modifier with the text style since text style is constant and also replace this container with size box now let's just restart the app and let's just quickly save another user and let's say this one is Johnny Ive Johnny at the red gmail dot com and then password of course and let's sign up here we will display progress bar okay just to tell the user that your account is registering so now if you come here then here you can see Johnny Ive and here is the profile picture